So that's real yeah, just okay, real. Okay, okay. Uh, the question. Ladies, I think we're live. Right. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, well, we're just getting this. Um, uh, I say, just introduce everyone uh, in respect of your good self and the AHTB and why we're at the Great Yorkshire Show with these two amazing ladies. Hello, I'm Isaac Van Eerden from uh, AgriLeaders at, at AHTB. Um, we interviewing and chatting to some of uh, the future farmers from the Yorkshire Agricultural Society. And we've got Kate and Vicky, please introduce yourselves. Okay. Hi, I'm Kate Moore, uh, pig farmer in Driffield. And I'm Vicky Scott, and we're sisters. Oh, yeah. In case you didn't know. We've got one other one, but she's not here, but yeah. So I was trying to tell my kids on the, on the way up yesterday um, that when I was at Harper, Harper Adams, all the Yorkshire... Harper Adams. Were you? Yeah. Oh, but we're, 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 um, all, all the Yorkshire contingents at Harper said that Driffield is the centre of the universe. Yes. Why, why is that? Because we live there. Oh! <laughs> Excellent. So, so we just um, had a really interesting um, seminar um, about the um, about the future leaders. Future leaders, so talk to us ladies about what, what that means in, in the concept of yourself and your business and, and how it's been a benefit to you. Okay. So Future Farmers, we've been members for years now and they're really forward thinking, um, they put on some great meetings, do some great training as well, so leadership training, media training, financial training. Uh, if there's ever a problem, Liz is fantastic okay. and we can go to her and especially through the pig crisis for the past few years. Oh, wow. uh, Liz and the Yorkshire Ag Society have been amazing. They've been on the phone all the time asking what they can do, if we're okay. And there's just a lot of support there. Yeah, okay. Do you like the way I, ma do you like the way I mash up future leaders with future farmers? <laughs> to me, to me, it's the same. So let's this pig, this educate everyone as to pigs. Where's the sector at the moment? The sector is in a still a really precarious position. Uh, first quarter of this year, we've lost 20 21% of our serves, so 21% less pigs have been served. There's going to be a massive shortage of British pigs um, coming through. Uh, it all started back uh, over a year ago now when uh, the processors stopped taking pigs and there was a big backlog on farms. Um, and then obviously the war in Ukraine has just escalated all our financial problems. Right, it's okay. a and disaster. How, how would you say you know, the, the training and the, thing, uh, the support that you've had from future farmers, how does that help you both to, to you know, step up to it and step into the limelight and, and help you with that? They've been fantastic because they're so supportive. So like Kate said, Liz has just been on the phone. She'll do anything she can to get you talking to the right people at the right time. I like it, this right Liz press. lady. Uh, she's yeah, really you should listen. Yeah, she's very, very good. So carry on. Um, they've just been really, it's a support network as much as anything. And you get to speak to the right people when you need to speak to them. They've got, obviously they've got a bigger name so they can get in touch with people like Victoria Prentice. They can get those meetings in front of her. And yeah, they just just hold their hand a little bit. It worked really hard for for the industry as a whole. And and around leadership, what would you say were your biggest eye opener? What what were the biggest thing that you the, the penny drop moment, if you like? I think we're still waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you came to look at our business today, yeah, definitely we need some leadership. No, I don't just... believe that. No. <laughs> I don't know. I guess just. We're lucky because there's three of us, and so we've all got different strengths, and it's making sure that we work to those strengths. There's three of you? Yeah, yeah. that's one at home. Yeah, one she, of us has to do some work. Yeah, she doesn't like being in front of the camera. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's making sure that we work to each other's strengths, and we go out and make sure that we get other people's opinions and their expertise, think, yeah. pulling it all in. Just listening to other people, you know, like in that meeting this morning, listening to other people <laughs> inspires you, it makes your brain work, it makes you think, actually, yeah, we should be doing that, or we should look at this. Uh, we actually just need to go and do it. Okay. But you, you talked about the pros of uh, three sisters working together. Uh, so there's a lot of negatives. <laughs> there's a lot of negatives, it's an absolute dream. I wake up in the morning and think, Thank God I've got two sisters. Wait, 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 which, which one do you love most? <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah, come on, bit. Come on. <laughs> that would be wrong. I don't know anyone stood next to you. This is speaking for you. I quite obviously don't have a favourite. They're equal. It's like my, my daughter and my son. I could never uh, pick. But, but, but it's great It's great to see that we all know uh, cases of farming families that don't get on. Um, from a little bit of research I've done on you guys, you're, you're just, you're just amazing. Again, well, you're, 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 you've been endorsed with these ambassadors. For, uh, for, for future farmers. Just, uh, just on future farmers, again, come on, we need to extol the virtues um, of this. Why should people get involved? 
with that with future farmers? Because it's about their future. It shapes the future of the agricultural industry generally. Uh, it gives them a great opportunity to speak to some very influential, important, knowledgeable people. Um, and it's, and it's, it's fun. Great. Yeah, it's fun. And it's really sociable. Like there's so many members. You meet different people every time there's a different meeting. And yeah, you learn something. Every time you go out, you learn something new. And, and has that led on to some other uh, you know, leadership opportunities that you've gone on to or done? Um, <laughs> I've done enough field scholar. Oh, well, there you go. Can't get much better than that. That's fantastic. Um, I don't think it's led to anything else, has it? Okay. So no, we're just, the, business, the business is evolving all the time, I suppose, so we're only second generation and mum and dad, well dad not so much, but they're still involved, yeah. so it, our leadership is developing all the time. And it's, uh, I think Tom said it this morning, and I've heard it recently as well. If you're doing in two years what you're doing now, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, exactly. So I think and that's the, the yeah. era we live in now. Yeah. You've got to keep on evolving. Yeah. So. Especially now, definitely. L ladies, I'm sure your mum and dad are so mixed and proud of you, of you both. And, 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 and again... Uh, and the third one. <laughs> <laughs> the secret sister, she is known. The secret sister the secret we don't sister. talk about. <laughs> yeah. We can talk about her, she just can't be seen. Excellent. Ladies, thank you very much. I've just got to show off some, some of these amazing things. Ladies, Isaac, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Excellent. Go, ladies, give us a smile, give us a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, excellent, thank you. Thank you very much.